The reason why we choose Wazaza version is that the toilet is a commercial toilet facility and almost about 200 to 300 people use it per day. Right behind me is where people come and enjoy. It's called Sata Beach. And then, of course, here is the beach itself. You can see the canoes are there. People are going for fishing and all the stuff. This is where you can get best things when it comes to fish and kinky. Jamestown is the location. But I'm not here to have enjoyment. I'm not here to chill. I'm here to work just for you. Dream house improvements. On this channel, we do videos that explain by the guest us and we do property tours as well, real estate and building in Ghana in general. In this video, I'm going to show you a tour that I did, a simple one, where a big biodigester is being constructed for a public toilet. The lead expert on it, he is going to explain to you exactly what this type of technology is and how it's going to help Ghanaians in terms of their human waste management. I'll do other videos that show the completed job and everything about it that you need to know when it comes to biodigesters and biogas production here in Ghana. Stay with me on this channel. Be right back. The purpose for this project uh, is for one, sanitation purpose, and two, for renewable energy. Mm. Sanitation aspect is where the effluent that comes from the digester will be treated to the EPA standard before disposing it off. Mm. Then the energy will be used for heating water for those who come to bath in the morning, especially for the old people. The size of the digester is 50 cubic meter digester, and the purpose or the reason why we choose Wazaza version okay, is a hybrid system where we don't use pipe connection for the inlet and the outlet. For this one, we use bricks for the inlet and bricks for the outlet. And, uh, when the waste comes into the system, there are two main processes that take place in the system. The toilet is a commercial toilet facility and almost about 200 to 300 people use it per day. It is likely some will be dropping things that are not supposed to be dropped. Mm. But if it is Wazaza, it will just not choke the system but it will come into the system without having any effect on the system. Right. That's why we choose this version. Okay. But you have other types? There we other have types other types, like the Kamatech, where we have to use the pipe for inlet and the outlet. Mm. Yeah. So let's say I'm doing a typical um, biogas digester for my, my house. Your house, we can use the Kamatech mm. or we can use the Wazaza. And what, what would be the reason for choosing? Is it, is it the size that will determine what we should go for, the users, or the, is it the purpose for which I'm... I'm it's I'm, not the size, it's the, it's the money. The money. <laughs> you know, the, the Wazaza is expensive, expensive because you have to buy more bricks, more cement, mm. more labor. But okay. the, with the Kamatech, is less bricks okay. and it's less uh, labor to construct. Uh -huh. okay. So people are asking, what's a biogas digester? I mean, as an expert... A uh, biogas digester simply means extraction of energy from organic waste in the absence of oxygen. Why? Because the system is supposed to be airtight and watertight. If it is airtight and watertight, naturally it produces microorganisms that feed on the solids that comes in and convert it to a simple compound. And from there, the methane formers also feed on it and convert it to, to uh, gas. That's the methane gas. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's a technology that's existing? It's, it's like... a technology that exists. Uh... And we've done not less than 100 for people in greater Accra region. Wow. Yeah. Okay. In terms of awareness in Ghana, mm -hmm. it's yeah. less. Mm -hmm. So let's propagate the good news to people that uh, this is the new system that is replacing the traditional septic tank. Right. So when you take the traditional septic tank, the cost is expensive. Mm -hmm. So you have to buy blocks, iron rods, excavation. And at the same time, when it is full, you have to call the latrine people to come and pull it out. And the cost of this lodging is also high. But when you have the anaerobic biogas system, 
you are no more going to the slot so it's going to save you from the cost of the slotting and two sanitation wise is it, it, it's the best is the best okay yeah Thank you for watching this video. This has been a biogas construction tour here in Jamestown, Accra. I've been enjoying myself at the beach and now it's time to go. And then of course, you know, it's a channel you can subscribe to and be part of this growing community of biodigester lovers. Until next time, bye-bye.